we are just continuing from the last video. So now if we look at this, we're gonna do number 51, which is right here. And if you notice, the directions say for each equation, x in radians, theta in degrees, for all exact values where appropriate. So we might not have an exact value here. And it says otherwise, it says round approximate answers in radians. So we might just only be able to get an approximate answer. So this is something we gotta consider as we go through this problem. So anyways, our problem is six, six sine squared of theta plus sine of theta equals one. So now previously we actually have had this problem here where it was six x squared plus x equals one, which these are the same type of problems algebraically. So instead of the x, we're gonna have the sine of theta. So first thing we did here was we subtracted one, subtracted one. So this was six sine squared theta plus sine of theta minus one equals zero. And remember we did that similar thing with this one on the right here. And when we factored it, we got three x plus one, no minus one it was. and 2x plus 1, and it equals 0. So essentially, we're going to get the same thing on the sine of theta 1 here. But instead of x, <clears throat> we're going to get sine of theta. Equals 0. So now what we're going to do from here is, notice now each piece here, this is by multiplication here, that this here is zero or this is zero. Now I'm just gonna rewrite that. So now we're just gonna get started on solving each piece here. So if I add one and I add one to both sides, this is gonna be three sine of theta equals one. And I divide by three, I divide by three. So this is gonna be sine of theta equals one third. Now, when I set this up on my unit circle, because this is in general, what we're going to do to figure out all of these values, okay, I notice that the sine of one equaling, sine of theta equaling one third is positive. So that tells me it's going to either put me in the first quadrant or the second. So therefore, when I think of opposite over hypotenuse and opposite over hypotenuse, like the Sokotoa thing, I realize that this is going to give me values on the bottom using the Pythagorean theorem, which you can go through. So these are the values I get, but this, if we realize right away, is not one of our special triangles. So therefore, we have to take a slightly different approach here. So what I will do is I will take the sine inverse of both sides. Now remember, when I use this inverse function, it only gives me one answer. And remember, the restriction of sine inverse is either the first or fourth quadrant from negative pi halves to pi halves. So it's something for us to keep in mind as well. So theta ends up being 19.4712 degrees. Now remember in the directions, it said if we used x, it was radians in theta is degrees. So that's where I get this degree at. So make sure when you plug it in your calculator, you have it in the right mode. Now to find the other answer, keep this in mind here. So we actually found this one here, and that's the angle we found. So realize that's also gonna be 19 degrees on the other side there, 19.4712 degrees. But we're gonna actually need this angle here. So what we'll have to do is we'll have to take 180 degrees, and we'll have to minus that 19.4712. 4712 degrees. Now remember, use the whole number in your calculator so that you don't have any issues and rounding errors. So then the other angle is going to end up being 160.5288 degrees. Now we're going to get started on this other part since we found the answers for the previous one. So now we're going to subtract one from both sides. So this is going to be 2 sine of theta equals negative one. We're gonna divide by two, divide by two. So the sine of theta actually equals negative one half. 
So now what we're going to do is we're just going to actually draw that unit circle idea here again and realize that the sign is negative. So that means it's going to put us in the third and fourth quadrants. And then from there, it's going to be opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite over hypotenuse. So there's our answers, and those are both going to be negative. Okay. So now when I look at that, do I know this triangle? I do. This is actually the 1, 2, square root of 3 triangle. And you guys might be familiar with that as well. So we actually know this triangle here. So we can actually come up with those values as exact answers. So now this first one here, I know this value right here, this angle measure here is going to be what? 30 degrees. Okay. So I know that angle is 30 degrees. So if I think about the full angle here, what I mean by that is all the way around there, that's actually going to be 180 plus 30. So that theta is going to actually equal 210 degrees. Okay, and then we just continue that for the next one. So then for the next one that starts there and goes all the way around to here. Again, I know this right here is 30 degrees. So that means that's going to be 360 minus 30. So that's going to end up being 360 minus 30. So that's going to be 330 degrees. So if you look at what we have here and for a complete answer, so we have both of these answers here, which we got from the previous problem. And then we also have these here. So all four of these answers are going to be our answer for this problem. Now, I thought I was done, but looking back at the directions, notice this. It doesn't specify any parameters like the previous one said 0 to 360, you see up here. This one doesn't say any of those, so this simply means we have to give all possible answers. Now, to do that here, as if we think of sine, what is sine and how does it work? Okay, so the, the uh, period for sine is 2 pi. So essentially, since we're talking about degrees here, that would be 360 degrees. So the way to write each of these answers would be theta equals... 19.4712 degrees plus 360 degrees n. That's how we would have to write that for each of these. So then the next one would be equals, theta equals 160 point, oops, 5288 degrees plus 360 degrees n. So that's simply saying that every 360 degrees, if I put a 1 there, is going to take me to the next one and the next one and the next one. I'd also have to do that for these others as well. So then I would also have theta equaling 210 degrees plus 360 n. And then theta equaling 330 degrees plus 360 and that would be all of the answers since they didn't put any parameters on the angles altogether, like 0, 360, 2 pi. So there we go.